Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use Station 5 analysis software. So what I'm going to do is show you how to load a chart. I've opened an eye here and I'm going to choose the right eye chart. This is the integrated iridology chart, which is the chart that's included in Station 5.1. Station 5.2 is exactly the same as 5.1, but it has a Jensen hybrid chart on it. So you can see that there are three rings here. And what we want to do is make the rings approximately the same size as the collarette, the pupil, and the outside of the iris. To move the chart, we put our mouse in the center circle, and we always set up the outside ring first. And that's because it is not usual that the pupil will be centered. So this is a good sign. We can see pupil slightly towards the nasal side, and that is ideal. To move the pupil now, we go to this third icon from the left, offset center of overlay. And now when I put my mouse in the middle, I'm just moving the inside two rings. So I'm going to set up the approximate position of the pupil. I'll turn that function off so that I can then adjust the size of the collarette and the pupil to fit. And you'll notice that some parts of the collarette are outside the collarette ring and some parts are inside the collarette ring. So I'm going to trace the collarette now by selecting the next icon to the right and on the pressing of my mouse twice I'm going to start to see that I can trace the collarette. Now I like to go to this next little icon which switches the whole thing off and now I've got nothing in my way as I make my way around and I carefully select the peaks and troughs in the collarette, which means that I can literally trace an individual's collarette every time. So I don't make any mistakes. This is unique to my client. And I'm just going to go into the um, peaks and troughs as I go around this marking called the collarette. You can see this is going to make my analysis very accurate. And it just takes me a minute or so to do this. You can do this in front of your clients if you like. It's fascinating for them to see. And what's really excellent is once I've completed that, I lock it, which is here. And I can select to have the whole chart showing, just a partial chart, which is just the collarette, the pupil, and the outer ring. I actually prefer to have nothing showing. I'll open this little letterbox symbol and when I point my mouse to any marking it tells me exactly what area the marking might be and so even a tiny pigment like this tells me that it's on the clavicle so I'm going to ask that person was there any history with your clavicle. If it's a lacuna I can go and ask questions about that. Any marking I see on the iris I can tell. Now because I haven't selected male or female, at the moment I have a prostate gland and a uterus. So all I need to do then is just select whether it's male or female. And then I've, I've only got the organs belonging to a female. And that is the way that we do chart mapping on an iris. Just again, this is the integrated iridology chart in station 5.1. And I hope you'll take advantage of getting a copy of this for yourself.